Many studies have shown that females on the autism spectrum often go untreated due to the symptoms being far more subtle than those displayed in males. An article from Psychology Today explains that autistic females, quote, also display very intense symptoms, but since they may appear differently than the traits seen in autistic boys and men, it contributes to the fact that girls and women may fail to be diagnosed, end quote. Now, I was not officially diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome until early adulthood, but as a child, I was extremely socially awkward, didn't make eye contact with other people when talking with them, and had very intense obsessions with things like anime and video games. Despite showing many classic signs of being on the spectrum, no adults really took the time to notice or intervene. And not having a reliable support system such as this severely affected my self-esteem. Because of this lack of assistance, I felt for a long time that I wasn't capable of living up to my full potential and still feel like this today. As an adult, I am fairly hesitant to openly reveal my diagnosis to others. Due to the stigma surrounding Asperger's and other similar conditions, I feel that it is best to keep my diagnosis separate from my presenting self as much as possible. If it were to be made an obvious part of my identity, I feel like my diagnose would, diagnosis would project a negative impression of myself onto others. This may cause some people to unconsciously compare me to the more cognitively impaired individuals on the autism spectrum, thus perceiving my thoughts and actions as less valid than those of a neurotypical, potentially hindering my future employment or other personal goals. Recently, I watched this teenage girl give a TED talk about her difficulties with being on the autism spectrum despite not displaying many of the commonly associated traits that she described, such as, quote, stimming, bouncing, flapping, rocking, or restricted interests, and how, according to her, these are only stereotypes in a small part of the entire picture, end quote. Even though modern medicine has made great strides in improving how we treat neurodiverse individuals, I feel like we still have a long way to go and that we as a society are morally obligated to further understand how to accept that these individuals are equally capably, capable of functioning in our world just like anybody else. So in my future career, I will do all that I can to help change the ways that society forms its impressions of disabled individuals by educating the government and the public about what else needs to be done in order to help these people thrive.